pulling back on the pinna, inserting the insert tip into the canal. If we undermask, then we're not introducing enough noise. There still can be a crossover. Say the word urn, urn. Say the word twin, twin. Keeping the tip embedded, taking care to protect the ear from the clip holding the bone oscillator. And once I've got it placed securely, I'll bring my headband forward slightly. Go down in 10 dB increments to 60 dB. Present the tone. And now we are ready to take an impression. We bypass the outer and the middle ear and we transmit directly to the cochlea. Before I begin my speech testing, I'm going to make sure that my audiometer is set up accordingly. And mark it with your fingers so you know where you need to trim the tube. When I have reached an uncomfortable level for pure tones. That's loud. First, grabbing the pinna to straighten the canal and then placing the pinky and the ring finger on the face against the cheek to brace in case the patient moves. Mechanical energy in the middle ear and hydraulic energy because of two fluids that are continuously found in the inner ear. Say the word to tomb. Say the word cap, cap. I will brace and gently begin to push the auto block into the ear canal moving it up to the helix and the helix curl, and we will indicate our score here. Let's reestablish our level of masking in the non-test ear. Like here, my hearing aid is eating up batteries. I have to replace batteries every couple of days. Of the canal portion of the ear mold. The most comfortable listening level would generally be somewhere between 20 and 30 decibels above the SRT. In order to take an accurate ear impression, there is certain equipment that we must have. Traditional dome at the end of the slim tube 